and go? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we have Caitlin in the chair. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All the way from whereabouts in Australia? I'm from Sydney. Sydney? Yep. Okay, Sydney girl, what do you do here? Uh, well, I won the green card lottery. You did? Yeah, and I want to do theatre and acting. Theatre and acting. Nice. That's okay. Girl. What do you want to do with your hair? So I want to get some exciting things happening around the front. Some exciting things happening around the front. <laughs> Just because I'm fireworks. flat <laughs> and plain Jane, so maybe... Bit of a layer starting around here ish, yeah, yeah, and then layer it out from there, and take off a little bit of length. Great, so you have a picture to show us? Let's show our camera Something here. Something like this. Something like that. Minus the blonde. Well, minus the blonde, that can always <laughs> happen another day. <laughs> All right, so we have our first cut, which so will be a classic long razor layer. So, uh, simple, 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 simple. You know what you're doing. Not so simple if you don't. <laughs> All right, we'll spin this way so we can, I've got Rebecca's back with the tripod mm -hmm. now. You feel good about that tripod, Rebecca? Yes, I missed it. You missed it? <laughs> you missed your tripod. I did, my mic stand. Your microphone stand. Now you can relax. Okay, we'll cut the length last, so, because we're not gonna cut a lot of hair off, so we're gonna cut the length last. We'll put the shape in first. And then we have the wonderful Dana here. Hello. <laughs> the wonderful Dana is going to be styling Caitlin's hair. You don't have, you have fine hair, yeah? You have a nice amount. Yeah, fine hair, but a bit of it. A bit of it? Yeah. She's got a bit of it. <laughs> so the nice thing about when you razor in this hair, you comb the hair straight down. This is the lesson that we teach. One of the first lessons we teach on razor fundamentals. Can you even see there, Rebecca? I think it'd be better if I move here. I think it'd be better if you move there, yeah? Razor Fundamentals. We're actually teaching a Razor Fundamentals class at the end of August. Two-day Razor Fundamentals. You can extend it into a five-day. So if you're interested, contact Loretta at Arojo NYC. I'm teaching the class. It's a... Two-day Razor Fundamentals and then extends into Razor Advanced. It's part of our bite-sized boot camp. $800 for the two-day and $1,500 for the five-day. So uh, it's up to you. Uh, if you want to do three days, you can. So contact Loretta. And don't forget, I've got my classic cutting program starting at the, uh, the beginning of August. So you're going to kind of keep this hair at natural fall. Keep your hand low so you don't comb the hair forward and no elevation. You know, you've got to think about how we feed the, 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 the hair into the blade. So as I comb that hair straight down, then what happens is my, my razor's right behind my finger and I just follow it all the way down. Zero elevation. We're back here in Brooklyn, so hopefully we get a good signal today. Rebecca assured me. I always blame Rebecca. Yeah, it's okay. my fault. Is, is I blame a, the government. So. You blame the government. Oh, you blame the government. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm sure you do. That bloody government. Tim Brooker says good morning. Hey, Mr. Tim. Thanks for coming out and seeing us in Philadelphia. I was in Philadelphia on Monday doing an event at Barnet Fair. A little education inspiration. It was so much fun to work with Josie and Erin. And thanks for your support, Tim. We truly appreciate it. And Tim's one of our avid posters on Arojo Social. So Arojo Social is our downloadable app from the App Store. And it's a great place to uh, stay connected to uh, everything that we're doing as a business and as a brand. And we're slowly going to be putting more and more attention onto Arojo Social as we start to build our digital platform. But unfortunately, I gotta work on so many different facets of the business that, uh, you know, it's gonna take a little while before we get that set up. So you'll notice the shortest piece here, right at the chinny chin chin, 
and then we drop it all the way down. At this point, I feel like we've managed to keep the length, the corner. Now we're kind of going to rotate and start to elevate. So we're going to start to elevate. We're going to lift this head forward. And the reason why we're doing this is we want to run some more action through the hair. It's kind of a bit harder for you, this, Rebecca, because it's long hair, mm -hmm. yeah? It's long hair, so when it's long hair, it's harder to film because you're close. Don't make anybody sick at home. Trying. <laughs> now you've been given your uh, your tripod back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now we're back in the real. Now we can actually say it's Brooklyn Live. It really is Brooklyn Live, and it's a nice day today, yeah? yeah? And there's no parking around here. <laughs> yeah, I had to go around three times, eventually I put it in the lot. Tim says that was one hell of a storm. Tim, that was one hell of a storm. Yeah. He's talking about the Monday night party that we had. Oh. He's not talking, it's a metaphor. Oh, for, uh, I see. You know, like as if it was a storm. Yeah. Dark and cloudy. That's what he was drinking. <laughs> Sydney says good morning. Good morning, Sydney. Thanks for tuning in. So we're doing a nice classic long razor layer on Caitlin here to kickstart her acting career <laughs> here in New York City. How long have you been in New York? Um, six and a half months. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? The weather's not the best. She <laughs> got yourself fussy. You have a free drink and you're complaining already. Yeah. <laughs> the weather's not the best. But other than that. The weather's not the best. <laughs> You can go back to where you come from, you know, you go to right. England. I it's mean, warmer in Europe right now. Heat stroke. <laughs> Laura was there last week. It was 4 billion degrees, yeah? yeah? Nice air conditioning. So I'm just dancing around the chair here. Me and I drop it down. <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> You've been drinking? <laughs> Why not? Uh, not yet. That's what's missing. So we're looking forward to a nice weekend. This weekend in New York, we have what we call our ambassador artistic team training. And we have about 35 hairdressers and salon owners. A good mix coming from all over. They're coming from all over, uh, all over the country. And uh, we're gonna be training them. And that's gonna be in our Tribeca location. So we're looking forward to a busy weekend. And then the education kicks in in August. I'm doing a lot of classes in the Erosio Academy, part of the boot camp program. That's our Salon Fundamentals. We also have a new class starting uh, next, uh, next week, a new Cosmo class. And we have two new Cos we have three new Cosmo classes starting in, uh, in September. We have our class in Tribeca, class in Soho, our night class, and then we also have our barbering program starting at the end of September. So actually four classes. If you're interested in becoming a stylist, a hairdresser, or a barber, you can definitely check us out and see what we got to offer. We have some great educators and some great education, and we've really managed to make some great inroads into uh, developing the future professionals of our industry. What school did you go to, uh, Dana? I went to school um, outside of Trenton, New Jersey. Yeah? Yeah. What was it called? School. Paul Mitchell? Mm -hmm. I'm going to North Carolina to the Paul Mitchell Academy there. What? In Charlotte. Uh, I'm going to be doing a class in Charlotte in September. One for the students and one for the local community. You stay there, Rebecca. I'll work to you. Because okay. I know you don't like to walk too much. <laughs> Look after those gentle, delicate knees of yours. That's you true, know, that's you? true, thank you. I don't need getting stressed out. I don't need knees getting stressed out. Mm -hmm. So second side, oops, snatch a little bit over. Here it is. Now when you're pulling the hair nice and tight with the razor, you gotta be prepared for the jump. It will jump up a little. So you can edge on the side of longer as opposed to shorter. All of our education is booked through Loretta. It's 
or you can book it directly online on AroshoPro.com. Uh, Arosho we have a very busy end of summer. Actually, we're very busy all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, we kind of focus more on the salon in December and January. But we have a lot to do between now and December. I got trips all over the country, education all over the country. Not only will I be traveling to promote Erosio, I'll also be doing a lot of things with, with my new color partner, L'Oreal. Uh, so get ready for that. Stand in front, I'm gonna pull this forward and just do a little touch, little check, little check. I like to call that a touch point. Just kind of get the balance in, make sure you feel like you're on balance and on point. This is really nice to do with a razor because actually you get some texture and softness and length in at the same time. It's more fluid when you're cutting with a, with a razor on long hair like this. Notice how it's just the fingers that move. We'll just melt that hair away. Next cut up, we're going to be doing a scissor cut. We're going to do a bowl cut. So we've got two great different shapes for you today. Something a little bit more classic and then something a little bit more twisted Ronkin says he would love to hang around but he's got a hot blonde he's got a highlight oh Ronkin <laughs> you do that I'll watch you on I might play. be coming back to Boca soon Ron so stay tuned I got a call last night I gotta come I'm definitely coming to Miami at least twice before the end of the year so stay tuned hopefully we'll get to see you So in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be teaching um, in New Hampshire. In August, I'm teaching. I'm teaching at the Barber's Den. I can manage about ten people on a razor class. It's a one-day class. It's four hundred dollars. You can check it out on ArosioPro.com if you're interested. Love to uh, love to connect. Ron Khan says he loves you. I love you too, Ron Khan, my boy. Valerie asks where you'll be in Boca. Uh, you know, Valerie, stay tuned on my Instagram and I'll let you know. Because uh, things happen very fluidly. Like right now, things just happened. Uh, so I'm going to New Hampshire. And I'm from New Hampshire. I'm going to go out to uh, Iowa. I'm going to go and see Thompson & Co. Great salon there. So I'll be going out to Iowa. I'm going to do a Happy Mondays with Bobby. Should be really exciting. That's also going to be in uh, in the month of August. I'm going to be in Atlanta next uh, next week. I'm going to do a few clients at my uh, you know one of my favorite salons. My dear friend Jeff South. He's got a great salon there called Intrigue in Marietta. So I got a couple of clients. I'm going to go out and uh, do a little bit of haircutting and meet a few salon owners while I'm out there in Atlanta. So that's kind of the travel. I'm going to head out to Albuquerque, hopefully, to meet up with my, uh, my friends from Square Root in August, too. It's a lot of travel in the month of August. I have two five-day classes, one's scissor, one's razor. You can always come and learn. August is a good time to learn because, obviously, it's a little quieter with the summer. And then uh, everyone's getting ready for September slowly start to kick back in we have fashion week that kind of kicks it back kicks it back up a notch here in new york city september i'm minneapolis teaching a razor class september i'm going to be uh in philadelphia doing a big event on the rojo expose in philadelphia we're excited for that uh we have a number of other trips also planned in September, we're going back to North Carolina, Charlotte. Excited for that. October, going to be in Scottsdale, Arizona, LA. Back in Atlanta. So, I'm kind of I never get too sick of inside of a plane. I hope because <laughs> I'm kind of on one all the time. So you notice how we're doing some elevation right here, flowing through the hair. Make sure you get your comb right the way in. To the base of your section. Comb the hair nice and taut, and notice how my fingers just peel out. 
you peel your fingers out so they peel away again at this stage of the game these are like we call these touch points it's just where you check connect see whether you're elevating the right the right you're elevating enough either side you can check it by standing in front of your client pulling the hair forward you'll feel you'll feel the hair fall away a little heavier on this side which is always the case you always want it to be a little bit heavy because then once you get close to within an inch of it being right then you know okay now take an inch off and we make it perfect we're going to continue through everything's pivoting from this point here so my shoulders are going to be in front of you rebecca mm -hmm. i know that rebecca mm -hmm. you should know by now i'm waiting <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting I'm waiting for Laura. Come on over, Laura. Show us what we're going to do with you. She's going to be her. We're going to go into a different zone with L. Laura, all the way from France, where it's 104 <laughs> million degrees. Was it hot there? It was so hot. It was, yeah. it was great, though. You it liked so it? Yeah, it was beautiful. All those... Oh, good. Look, so... You're going to get color today, too. Yeah. What color are you going to go? I think I'm why not? Yeah. Bubblegum dreams, baby. Bubblegum <laughs> dreams. So this is coming up next. So why don't we get Laura shampooed and uh, we'll do Laura next. It's going to be a fun cup. Ron can ask if you take Bitcoin. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> don't do the clip, but thank you. And he asks, can you do the Boris cut? <laughs> the Boris cut? Oh, yeah, the Boris. I know who's talking about the new prime minister. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's who's talking about. He's talking about the big Boris. Another orange head. Dude. All right, so we work to the center. That's good. So you see, we got like this action right in here. Yeah. Now we're gonna nibble the length up and knock out the corner through the back. All this haircut is is all about, it's all about making sure you get the touch points right. Yeah, so we'll bring the length up a little. Chin down for me, please, Caitlin. When the head goes down, it means that you just flatten out the back of the, uh, just flattens this out a little, so you get like a cleaner, smoother angle to cut with. I can take nice, big, chunky sections because uh, we know exactly what we're doing here. Very client-friendly type of style, this. Coming it out. Coming it out, coming it all the way down. It's great. Work nice and clean. Map everything out properly. Bring the hair straight down. Rest it on the back of the chair. And I'm just gonna ever so lightly just chop in. Do a little bit of chopping point cutting into the hair to give it just a slight softer edge. It'll kind of marry much nicer. Val Valerie says, any cutting lotion. What does that mean? Mm. You tell me what that means. Cutting motion. Cutting lotion. Oh, cutting lotion. Sorry, Valerie. Yeah, the only thing that I always use, if you watch this, we use this. It's not a cutting lotion, it's a spray conditioner. It's really good. It's nice and light. I don't really need it. But as soon as you mentioned it, we'll spoil it. <laughs> that was too close up on my white beard. <laughs> all right. My hair looks bad. My beard looks bad. I got to cut it all off. Rebecca, maybe you should cut my hair. Oh yes, that's a great idea. Can you do hair? <laughs> oh yes, after watching you for the for these Brooklyn lives, I'm clearly I am an expert now. You should be doing the cut. That'll be a show. That's going to be it. It's going to be called Show Us Your Skills. Show Us Your Skill. <laughs> so here's the question. Has anyone mentioned the pictures, Blurry? Or are we getting a good picture, do you think? Nobody said anything. I think it's good. We changed the router. Plugged in the compressor. <laughs> I 
We'd hear about it, I think. Well, let's hope so. So we're taking that length off now. So now the next thing is to do is to do what I just call skimming through it with a scissor on knocking out this corner. Okay, you don't want to overlay the hair because if you overlay the hair, the hair gets too weak at the bottom. So we'll split it again down the center. We'll split it ear to ear. So we're gonna like quad it, it's a classic. And then we're gonna pull this hair directly back. We're gonna pull it straight back to the wall. So I'm gonna actually lift it out 90 degrees. That way I can just knock out what I call the corner. Just check it. Because you know what they say, don't you? You gotta check yourself before you I wanted to think of a word that rhymed with wreck, but uh, yeah, wreck yourself. You want to check yourself before you shrek yourself. There you go. Shrek. Valerie says, thank you. Got to go cut some hair myself. Pick okay, is good. Val, make some money. Yeah. It's the end of July. Got to work. This is the time of year when you have to kind of work it out. Because, you know, a lot of people go away for the summer. So it does get a little quieter. So you gotta work out, work it out. Work your box, work your day, work your clients. Focus, promote. It's one of the things that I'm doing the most of that I can do. Now, we're gonna be doing some product knowledge this weekend. But this hair is gonna need some cereal product to give it a little bit of texture. So when Dana comes back, she's gonna be blow drying, so when Dana comes back, we'll have a, we'll talk through the products. Notice how I always comb everything in, so I'm gonna stand on this side now and do exactly the same. So you might wanna go this way, young uh, Rebecca. So now I always stand combing the hair in. It's point cutting right the way through. We have Happy Mondays, August the 5th. We'd love to see you at Happy Mondays. It's here in our Tribeca location in New York City. It'll be a lot of fun. It's complimentary education for uh, all of our ambassadors. If you're not an ambassador, why not? Yeah, an ambassador is somebody that brings in a Rogio product and it gets connected. We've been doing this for uh, many, many years now. And uh, we have, you know, built strong relationships with our ambassadors, which is very nice and exciting. And, you know, we'd love to welcome you into the club if you're getting frustrated with who you're doing business with, you know, definitely talk to, uh, talk to Arosia, direct message me, and uh, we'll kickstart the conversation. We tie all of our, uh, we tie everything to product. Everything is tied. To, uh, to, to products and education. So if you're interested, reach out to us and uh, we can have that discussion of how we like to do business. We're less and less with distributor, more and more uh, direct. We do have two distributors, which we're happy with. We have Blue Sky Beauty, and we also here in New York, Larry is a great guy. And then we also have uh, Prime Salon Services in Flowrider. So again, now just doing the same thing here, just checking that, making sure, because the hair's long, you don't want to go crazy and over layer it. So you can just check it with a scissor, just skimming, making sure you got the right balance. It's my new word, balance. 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 It's the posh balance word. Uh, you know what we're gonna need here? Product wise, you're gonna do like a curly, twisty blowout. Mm -hmm. What do you want? What do you think you want? Um, this is you're in the hot seat, Dana. Set and style spray. Set and style. Is it strong enough? If you want a softer twist, then uh, okay. okay. Well, this hair's pretty fine. It's long, so anything else? Volume foam. Volume foam could be good. I like another one better. 
That's good. But what would be good with styling wear? You never say that. That's, you're not allowed. You're a hairdresser. You never say you're not sure. Volume foam and styling whip? Nope. Holding spray? Nope. Spray dry. Um. Let's kind of give the hair a little bit more structure, thickness. She's separate. Protective thickness? Uh huh. That wasn't uh, her. Was uh, she got the clue, didn't she? She got the clue. So, styling whip. Tell me about styling whip, Dana. It's now she's good. We're gonna put her in the hot seat. Oh boy! Yeah, it's kind of like a does it all styler. You want to hair nice and shiny? You want to show us the can? Let's let's see how well she does. This is our styling whip. <laughs> it's a really amazing product for something that uh, does a little bit of everything. It'll give the hair some shine. It'll have a really nice light pull to it. There's also argon oil in it, so it'll keep the hair nice and healthy and hydrated. Do you like that? What's good Are about it, what's good about it coming in a whip? You can distribute it really nice and easily. It's nice and light. Good. Okay, what else we're gonna use? Protective thickening lotion. Okay. We're practicing, Dana. Yeah, so tell us about that. Let's keep this one here. Okay. There you go, let's go with the PTL. This is the PTL. It's really a great, nice, light holding product. It also protects the hair against the heat and prevents the hair from getting any damage. So it's a protector, it's a thickener, comes in a spray. My friend with a spray, spray it right into the room to give the hair a little bit more structure. Just lift that hair up, point those scissors all the way in. You doing okay, Caitlin? You feel good? Yep. You happy? Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. You know what, Rebecca? Yeah. I can't wait to shave this white thing off my chin. <laughs> you mean for me to do that? Sorry? You mean when I do that? You want to shave I, my when beard? I, when I cut your hair. Oh, do you want to shave my beard too? You're sick of the beard? So. All right, so that's given us what she wanted. Given us some movement in and around the face. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So she's got some sharpness in there, and she's still got all of her length. So now let's apply the product, and then we'll send her off with the wonderful Dana. Protective thickening lotion. Look how, look how light the spray is. So I'm going to build some bulk into the hair. So I'm not scared about using this product. This product comes in at $24. So it's a nice price point, not scary. The spray's so light that you can actually really afford to put a lot in. So it's nice to really test drive the product. So let me. PTL, one of our pot sellers. This is Styling Whip. I'm gonna infuse, does it all styler. It's got the oil in it, it's gonna give it some slip, but because it's in a whip like this, it's gonna give it some hold. Take a little piece, work it through. You grab it and you rake it. You grab it and you rake it. So just like this, and then you just work that through. Because of the oil, you get a little bit of extra slip in the hair. So you know, you get grip with the PTL and a bit of slip with the, uh, with the styling fit. So grip and slip. Sounds like a movie. The grip and slip show. All right, now we're gonna comb it all the way through with the wide teeth of the comb. And I would imagine, Dana, what kind of brush are you gonna use? I am gonna use the medium round brush because it seems like the hair is on the straighter side. So yeah. I really wanna give it a nice you, bend. You gotta give it some bend. What kind of a brush do you have it? Yeah. Let's have a look and see. So this is an Erosio brush. That's our... Uh, Medium, so she's gonna twist it and try and get some curl in there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright. You go. Thank you. With Dana. And I'll bring over Glamour Shoes, Laura. Hello. 
Fala em shoes, fala em shoes, come on in, glam shoes, I like them. Very glamorous. So, you have your picture again? Oh, I love that. Don't get it, let's do it, we'll get the picture. I'll get my scissors ready. Okay. Bowleroo. Like a full cut, yeah. Bowleroo. Okay, Bowleroo. On the way back. I didn't want to take a little shot in the front, yeah? Mm -hmm. We've got to make it look good. That's what we have to do. So she's already got quite a few layers in her hair. One thing you've got to think about is what's going to happen through the back. If you put a bow of wine around the back, it can look weird. So I think what you want to do is you want to get like this bow of wine right in here, and then we're going to blend it in. That'll look awesome. So let's get started. It's going to be a lot of work. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to section the hair right here, right around the head. And I've gone to my scissor comb. Hydra mist. And let's imagine that line coming from here down here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to zip this all the way up. Take it all the way in same thing again here. Let's get this line in the way we want it. So we call this finger width. And I'll lift it. You want to get some, some daylight between the ear and the bowl effect. You might want to come around here. I think you're going to get a better you're going to get a better look right here. So we section off the top. The reason why we section off the top is because we want to establish the line right in here. This is going to be scissor over combed. Right now we're going to just keep moving this forward. i to pull this straight down and create like a really clean line. We'll worry about the back later. So I'm starting to see something build up right here. Rose says hi, Nick. Hello, Rose. How are you? Rose knows that it grows. <laughs> so nice and tight. Nice and tight. Stay right here. Now let's take this out. Come right in here. Take it all the way out and try and create a little bit more of that edge in here. And take it really tight. As we start to build up the bowl. And then later today, she's going to turn into pink gonna go pink which will be fun take all that out take it right away and pull the hair forward rest the scissor Let's just clean up around the back of the ear there Stephen asks do you feel more comfortable cutting with scissors or razor you know Stephen I like both whenever I do a lot of one and then I kind of go back to doing a lot of the other. I use my razor a lot because I like the effect. I find, tend to find that the scissor really helps me. With, the razor really helps me get the, the ideas right. But then there's nothing more cool than doing like some clean work. You know, so... You're doing blurry lines and then you're doing clean lines. So it's fun here to do some clean lines, do something tight. 
We're doing it nice and tight, so that's gonna be good. I don't want the bowl to kind of come into the back. I just want the bowl to come into the front. I'm not worried about this stuff right now. I'm worried about this line that we've got coming through here. Yeah, because she's got layers. I want to make sure it's going to work. So right now I'm going to come through this part, start to bring the top in. It's all about balance. And I'm using scissors that I don't use every day because in every salon I got different scissors. Because I've got three salons and I travel around. So this is not my regular pair of shears, but I think I'll survive. Rosa, she's excited to see this haircut done. Yeah, me too. So you can see what we're creating right here. She's got the layering, so because of the layering, we've got to really, that's what I'm trying to establish. Whenever I'm doing a cut that's a little bit more, it takes a little bit more thought, which maybe you don't do it every day. The first thing you want to do is you've got to kind of establish the look. So right now I'm trying to establish the look as quick as possible. We started cutting at about quarter two, so we've been cutting for half an hour. I've already done one client, she's being blown out. That haircut was a lot simpler. This is a little bit more uh, involved because uh, there's a lot more detail to the shape. But I feel like we're moving in the right direction. Of course, you've got to get both sides balanced. That's also a bit of a pain in the, in the neck. That's also the challenge, is getting both sides to match. And when the hair's laid, you've got to work with those pre-existing layers too. And then you've got to work on suitability. Yeah, we've got to get it to, to, to we've got to get it to, to work for her. Get that balance right. Alright, let's come into the front. So this front may change may change because I think as I look at this I'm going to see exactly what happens because I think I might take that even tighter all right what we're going to do right now is I'm going to come on this side so I'll spin it to you if you want I'll come through this side get the side I'll, I'll, I will need to use the mirror because the mirror is is my judger yeah when I look in the mirror I see the balance, but I'm gonna kind of mimic and copy what I just did. Not worried about the back. Section where the head rounds. Comb that out of the way. Now we're gonna do exactly the same concept. Skinny section, finger width. Take it all the way up. work through remember you're going to get some space behind the ear or above the ear hold it down section I don't want this section to get it's got to be angled but I want it to be a little bit less vertical and a little bit more horizontal nice and tight Yes, yeah, so I'm doing a classic scissor cutting class starting on August the 5th, August the 4th actually, Sunday the 4th for one week. It's a five day class. If you want to learn classic technique, you need to polish up on your classic skills. That is the class for you. building this shape up. Don't over direct it too far forward because you'll kind of put more graduation in it. Try and pull it straight down. I'm going to stop for a little touch point right here. And rest just right behind. So you just put your finger here. And I'm resting like as if I'm playing pool. 
you want to be careful around the ear here because you want to make sure you don't catch the ear with the back of the scissors. So be very mindful. Now I'm going to spin around like this and I start to look and see that I can build up that shape. Right, it's kind of working good. The colour's helping. The colour's helping because you're starting to see that kind of build up of that ledge. Don't worry too much about the back. I know what I want to do with the back, but I really want to focus more on the on the money maker. Yeah, the shot around the front. So in the back, we're going to blend it. We're not going to have a hard line. I think the hard line is going to look weird in the back. So I'm going to blend it, but in the front, we're going to see the edge. So it's just more. You have to think about your haircut. 360. You can't just think about your haircut in like 2D. Got to think about it, 360. Elizabeth asks, do you teach styling in the classic cutting class? Well, a little bit of styling we teach, yeah, for sure. We have to. Yeah, we have to. We're going to cram a lot in, but a lot of it's going to be scissor technique. That's what a lot of it's going to be. And if you talk about styling, styling the classic cuts, yes. That's what we are going to teach. We have to. It's all hands-on. There'll be very little demonstration. All hands on. The only demonstration you'll see will be the Simon Says elements. Yeah, I'm putting together the class right now. Uh, whenever I approach a new class or a class that I've not done, I always want to put my own spin on it. It's a class that we have been teaching, but I've not taught a full week of classic cutting in a long time. So it's a little bit of a test for me too. I'm into the. I'm up for the test. I like tests. Up for the challenge. So now working across the front, I want to get the rough shape in because I can tailor it once I get the rough shape in. Yeah, she has a pre existing haircut, so I've got to work with what she's got. So I'm trying to strive to just get the bones of the shape in initially and then I can kind of push it even further. Spin around right now, have a look. So this front's gonna go a little shorter because I'm gonna make it tighter, but I feel like I'm moving in the right direction. Feels pretty good. Section this all the way over. The fact that it's layered makes it a little easier for me. It does make it a little easier, the fact that it's layered. Then if it was one length, it's gonna be softer. see where that hair falls so you can see right now it doesn't even really come to the outline so much all right so let's just take stock for a second of what we've done so we started to kind of create this like bowl shape effect so you'll see you've got this line working all the way around now it's time for me to get the back looking good yeah I'm happy with the front I want to see this hair dry off a little I'm happy with the front, but now it's time for me to get the back looking awesome. Uh, it's going to be tight, like a tiger. So nice, tight in here, finger width, take it in. Take no prisoners. You know, what I mean by that is apply that precision based technique. Section all the way down. I'm just going to blend that in. You keep your sections nice and skinny. As I always tell everyone the same thing, American hairdresser is tends to take a thick section. Yeah? If you want to do precision-based work, you've got to take a finer section. A finer section will work better. Notice how I comb it down after each cut. Notice how the section is not overly diagonal it is on a slight diagonal oh, let's call that following the head shape and we call this finger width it's the width of my fingers notice how I work my section here and here making sure that we get 
the foundation before we go above the foundation. Todd Dallas says good morning. Hey Todd, Todd, I'm coming to Toronto, I think in August. I'm looking for a venue to do a class, a little pop-up education. August, I think it's around the middle of August, it's a Sunday night. If you have any uh, recommendations, please let me know. I would imagine we'll probably get about 40 to 50 people, so a salon would be good that we can set camp up in. So if you know anybody, let me know. I'm going to be working on that today. Toronto. So come this uh, straight out, set it right the way in. Always comb it after each cup. Comb it down. Notice how it's not so diagonal. And for a little. Use the tips of your fingers right in here. The tips. Watch the tips. Get your tips right in. Tips of your fingers. You can do a little polishing as you go. A little scissor over comb as you go. Make sure you bring the top down as you work across. Make sure you comb it with the fine teeth of the comb. This is my uh, scissor comb. Yeah, scissor comb. It's got a little bit more tension on the white part. Follow your guide in. In section, hold it, comb in. Nice and clean. Following the head shape, tight graduation through the back. Chin's just lightly dipped in. You follow this all the way down. Classic precision based hair cutting. Fingers tucked right into the hairline. Take no prisoners. Comb this hair straight out. We're not combing it down. If we comb it down, we'll create a line. If we comb it straight out, we'll create red, we'll create a more fluid graduation. There we go. Feels good. Don't let your section get too thick. Cut hair, not corners. And if you cut the foundation really good, then the polishing of the work is um I talk about the polishing of the work is like the refinement of it is easier if you cut it great first time. Todd says, hell yeah, come on in. We'll do PM me. We'll do what? PM me. Personal message. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was very weird what I thought I heard. I think DM is usually the, the most used. Is it? But PM's also right. Oh, okay. Well, it's Canada. They have different, different oh, ways. Oh, yeah. Babe, you know what I mean? They have different <laughs> ways. That's you know? right. The dollar does, has the queen on it. <laughs> has Boris on it. Kathy says, need this. Need this, Kathy. Section's clean. Keep everything nice and clean. Fine teeth of the comb. Nice, structured training here. You can see the section, you can see how it's going. I'm working over the center back of the head. And then what I'll do is I'll come from the opposite side and kind of meet in the middle. A little bit like the Channel Tunnel. The French built one side, the British built the other. They had all the best engineers in the world. And when they were about to break through and join, they realized that they were, met, they were in the wrong place. <laughs> so they can't get it right. You as a hairdresser, you've got a bit of an excuse if you don't get it right. This is the best engineer since the very. Take it clean. When the hair's colored like this, it's good because it helps you. Because you can kind of go off the color. I like to kind of touch it every now and again as I cut, you know, like I don't, I want to kind of keep it fluid. I spin around here, you can see. Okay, so this is going to get a little tighter in here. Let's just bring this in. Let's 
bring this down. Make sure you get. Notice how I comb that a few times. I want to get it nice and precise. This I don't think is going to reach, but there might be remnants. And there they are, just little remnants. You see those little bits? Let's take them remnants off. Lift it, makes it just a little softer. Because you're, you're building up a bit of a shape, a bit of a line, but also the hair's layered, so you've got to work with the layers because that could also adversely affect it. So right here, just cleaning that up. I'm going to go through the top later. Whenever I do a cut like this, it's like, get your bearings in, get your foundation in, and then you can kind of work on the details after. We'll come around here, look in the mirror. All right. You can see what you've got here. You can see there's your line. You can see how it blends in through the back. So now we are going to do the same thing through here. Todd says, my boss says you're more than welcome to come to our salon. Where is it? Is it in the city center? And is it big enough for a demo? How many chairs do you have? Because that sounds like a good idea. Oh, sorry, it's the wrong way. Smells good though. Cute. All right. Yep, so let me know, Todd. We'll take it from there, buddy. Thank you so much. Tell your boss, that's cool. All right, so now we're gonna run this in. So let's start right in here. So this is fingers down, so you're gonna get, you could even get tighter because your fingers are down. Your fingers are skinnier, thicker at the knuckle, finer on the ends of the fingertips, yeah? The hair's dry. Let's give it a little bit of jamba juice. Don't forget, hopefully within the next day or two, we're gonna go live with the Rojo Expo. The Rojo Expo is at the TWA Hotel at JFK, 2020 going to be fantastic and um, we also have secured some really good hotel rates that you can also get directly through a Rojo. We also have our amazing event it's called Inspired. Inspired starts is a two-day event it's uh, it's an event for salon owners, uh, thought leaders, industry vets it's all about inspiration it will be an amazing, uh, amazing event, a new type of event. We kick off at the top of the Freedom Tower on Saturday the 27th. You get to see this incredible, we have the, uh, we've reserved the top floor just for, um, just for the guests from Inspired. So you have amazing views and you can actually get on top of the city. It's a view like you've never seen. And the reason I say it's a view I've never seen because I've never seen it. I've never been up there. You haven't been up there yet? Nope. Have you? Nope. But I ha was up the Twin Towers, so I, I know it's kind of going to be the same. Wait, did you say the top of the Standard? No, I said the top of the uh, Freedom Tower. Oh, the Freedom Tower. Yeah. The top of the Standard is on uh, Sunday night. Oh, I've been there. You've been there? Yeah. You little party animal. <laughs> no, I don't know, you're raging. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you hit it here first. La di da di, Rebecca likes to party. <laughs> oh God. Todd says we are in Oakville though. It's about 30 minutes from downtown. Ah, okay. Well, let me look and see, but thanks Todd. He says Valeria has, my, has the salon number and my number as well. Yep. Elizabeth says looking good. This is a fun cut to watch. Yeah, something nice. So you don't see every day. Yeah, let's just have a little look. I'm just going to go back. look at the balance of the graduation coming in. That's pretty good. When I was younger, I was a little bit slower and a little bit more meticulous. I'm a little bit looser now, quicker. I like that. Obviously, the more experience you have, the, uh, the better you should get. This is going to be a touch point too, in just one second. I want to make sure, if anything, I always cut the second side too long. 
so then I can refine it. But let me have a look and see. So I come around the back here and I'm looking for the balance. But it's pretty good. I stay with it. I can do a lot of refining later. I know that it's definitely not too short. So that's what I know. All this is classic cutting. Once you learn classic cutting with a scissor, then guess what? You become excellent at cutting hair. Yep, so we have a classic cutting class coming up. And then straight after the classic cutting class, uh, two weeks later, I have a, a razor class. And I'm going to be the teacher on both of those classes. So a lot of people always ask, are you teaching the class, Nick? And you know, my academy, I'm not guaranteed to teach the class because I travel so much. But I am teaching these two classes in August. One's a razor class, and one is a classic scissor cutting class. So if you want to learn strong technique, then you have an option to come and see us. Trying to blend in now to the opposite side. So working across the back, blending into the opposite side. I always comb it with the wide teeth of the comb so I can see. Let the hair live a little. The wide teeth of the comb on the scissor is a, uh, it's more forgiving. It's less tension. A little piece, I like it, I left a little piece right there. It's less tension, but it has more tension than the razor comb. And if we're doing scissor over comb, it's nice to start that scissor over comb with the wider teeth, it's more forgiving as well. When, sorry? Shake it out. Shake it. Actually, uh, yeah, make it look good. Make it look good. Todd says, after the demo, let's get on the lake and take you out for some salmon. <laughs> Can I just buy some in a restaurant? <laughs> I, think I think I'd like that better. Yeah. I'm not a fisherman like you, buddy. The only surfing I do is on the web. He was growing up going out on the, on the lake. We were growing up going out on the crawl. Classic English pub crawl. Started at about the age of 12. <laughs> I think I'm kidding. That's Fine teeth of the comb now getting in a little tighter. Did you make it look good? Why don't you spray some dry shampoo in at the root? Not too much, because I've got to do a dry shampoo video with her in a few minutes. So sit, notice it's just the thumb that moves, yeah? Just the thumb that moves. You want to work from wet to dry as much as possible because the hair starts to talk to you when it starts to get drier. Did you hear it, Rebecca? Hear what? The hair talking to you. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize. You didn't realize? It must be only hairdressers, though. I'm getting dry. I'm getting dry. I'm so ticklish. Okay, so now let's keep going. So you'll notice I went back to the opposite side to kind of start to crisscross. I'll start to crisscross this in now. A little bit harder when you're under the demo because you know what? You're trying to show as much as you can to the camera than if you're uh, just, you know, free flowing, not worrying about what's around you. But I've been doing this a long time, so I'm up for the game. I have to do it in French because uh, Laura's been hanging out in Paris. <laughs> oh, eating snails. What do you call snails? Uh, Escargo. Escargo. <laughs> Escargo. Do you like snails? I do. Yeah, you do? Yeah. What about you, Rebecca? Uh, not really. You want to suck a snail out of a shell? Uh, not a fan. Come on. <laughs> Get a little fart, dig it in. Yeah. It sticks like a booger. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chunky booger. Booger luga. So 
So just keep your, you know, quick, quick action. Yep. All right. So we're kind of getting into the shape now. See if we can start working through the front. Make sure you connect everything into the back. As long as you connect the lines and it's going to fall well. Obviously the crown, the hair can jump around a little. It's okay. Comes right back. Nice and tight. Blend it in. Just dusting it. This the same. How'd you go, Caitlin? Feel good? Yeah, really good. Really good? Yeah. Great. You just gotta wait for me to finish uh, my uh, my bishop. Yeah? She's a friar. This is the friar cut. Yeah? The bowl. The friar. Black Adder. Do you ever watch Black Adder? No. Yeah? She knows it. Yeah. Baldrick. Yes, uh, Time. Do you know who that is, Baldrick? No. Oh. Are you still dating? Um, yeah, I'm still dating. Same guy? <laughs> Same guy, yeah. yeah. Is it boyfriend material yet, or just still dating? Um, still dating. Yeah. <laughs> still dating. TBD. <laughs> what? To be determined. To be determined, TBD. Okay. All right, let's bowl her up a little bit deeper, yeah? Let's take this a little sharper, make it edgier. She can handle it. She's a schlum daddy. <laughs> or well, something like that, anyway. <laughs> Let's go tighter here, make it a little stronger. I don't mind that the hair's dried out a little. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. I want to see, I need two hands now, thank you. If I take this up in the center a little, it's going to make it look better. section. Just a little bit to me just for the sake of the camera. Better. Good to go side to side. You don't. You shouldn't move too much, Rebecca, because uh, guess what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be moving a lot. So just do your best that you can. So we're just taking this up a little bit shorter. So don't forget, we've got Happy Mondays coming up on the fifth of August. We have a classic scissor class coming up on the fourth of August. I'm going to be in New Hampshire teaching razoring. If you want to come for a one-day razor class, that is, I believe it's August the 11th. After that, I'm heading down to um, uh, to Iowa. I'm going to do a Happy Mondays in Iowa. I'm going to pass through Chicago on the way back. A lot of good stuff happening. I'm trying to make the most of August. Typically, it's uh, the quietest month of the year. Can be, but I, you know, it's like you never know what the future's going to bring. Never know. Let's keep it nice, clean, right on the line. Nice, I comb that as well. Coming it forward, it's going to soften it because it's not going to fall necessarily forward. So, again, there's some judgment here. Yeah, you gotta judge which way it's gonna go. That's why you wanna work it from wet to dry. So you can judge which way it's gonna go. Use your mirror. As the hair starts to get softer, we'll actually cut it softer. We won't cut it so hardcore, clean line, because we've gotta get some blend on there. Nice, I just comb it from side to side always, just seeing how that, that hair's sitting in. Scissor over comb right in here. Stay right here now. Let's comb all this in. Because all of a sudden, whenever I'm doing hair, my goal is always 
How do I get to the end? Yeah, so I always get to the end when I start to know that I'm in the right place. So that's what I'm working for, to get to the right place as quickly as possible. Let's dust it down. Sections, Claw Master. On that side. One hand's enough now. Claw Master. You working today, Dana? Nope, I have off today. You just came in to help me? Yep. It's very nice. Thank I'm you for nice that. Person. She, um, <laughs> Do you believe it, Todd? Do you believe it, Todd? That's what I want to know. Does Todd believe you? <laughs> Notice how I just rest. Yeah, notice how calm, calm rest. Fine teeth to come. I want to watch the ear here because you could easily catch the, the scissor on the ear. The back of the scissor, so watch for that. How are we doing, Rebecca? We're doing good. How good are we doing? Are we doing real good? A little bit good? Pretty good. Fairly good. Just a dibble. Dibbly good. Todd asked, I just got back. What did I miss? You missed Dana. <laughs> That's what you missed. Am I a nice person or not? Is she a nice Dana? And is Dana a nice person or not? Yes, she is. Do we have a smoothing iron here, Dana? Sure. You want to have That's a look and see? Go and have a look and see. See what we got. Oh, fryer. <laughs> bully, bully, bully. Bully, bully, bully. I need it. I might not need it, but just in case. Chin down. I'll spin around to you. Let's have a look at the back. So, pretty good. Do I have some texturizing shears too? So I'm just doing a little scissor over comb. Just to tighten that up. Get right in whichever way the hair grows, you've got to go the opposite way. In here, I'm going to put the tips of the scissors in so I can take it in nice and nice and tight right here. And I come around the side. Sorry, Rebecca. Yeah. Let's see if you can find some trimmers too. See what you can find in Erosio Williamsburg, yeah? We're just really lightly dusting. Allow the hair to dry so you can see the hair jump. When I say the hair talks to you, you see how it lays. If it doesn't lay right, then it's not right. So that's why you're looking at the hair all the time to make sure you get it to lay right. Notice how we don't have a cleaner line in the back. There's no way it could support it because it's not heavy enough. So it's more of a blended line. It's a little longer on this side. So again, the mirror, the mirror will tell you. The color can also tell you. As you're coming through here, you're looking, you're lifting, seeing how that hair sits. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, you're going to kind of trust your own vision, but you've got to get the technique right. Sunday night here in Williamsburg, if you were in and are uh, live around here, 
You're invited to Laura, we have an event. It's a party. Mm -hmm. Sunday night, uh, 6 to 10. Bangs and bubbles. Bangs and bubbles. Oh, is it not bangs and bubbles? I thought it was a swingers party. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's braids and bubbles. All of them. With bangs. Braids, bangs, bubbles. Braids, bangs, bubbles. Bubbles, bangs, braids. Braids, bangs, bubbles. Jesse says hello from Florida. Hey, Jesse. How are you doing, buddy? First, one of the first. The first one I went to in Florida. Jesse Briggs. Great salon. So I've just worked with any luck. Look what you find. Show me what you found. This is the guy. Are you sure that's a trimmer? <laughs> what is it? Um, it's a little buzzer. Does it work? Yeah. Well, it doesn't sound like it's too well. It sounds like it's ill. You'll never find it. <laughs> she doesn't know where it is. I think there's a little bit more weight right here. So let's just come through. Don't worry, Dana, come in and help me. Don't worry, we'll survive without it. Come on, anytime you're ready, that's it. She, she broke into a sweat. There you go. I was up early this morning, six o'clock, went to the gym. I'm so tender. It was good. Did you go to the gym? Dana? Um, every now and then. Every then and now? I go on kicks. But I haven't been this summer. You haven't been? No. Why not? Because it's too hot. And I just want to be outside when I have free time. Yeah? Yeah. Did you have a vacation? I did. Where'd you go? Alaska. On what, a cruise. And what did she say? <laughs> <laughs> Was it good? Yeah, it was amazing. Who'd you go with? My family. Nice. Mm -hmm. Did you see whales? So many. They're everywhere. Really? Yeah, they're like deer. Really? Mm -hmm. They, uh, so they're small? Uh, no, they're huge. Oh, there's just a lot Humpback of them. whales. Yeah. Did they hit the boat? <laughs> no. That'd be kind of scary if they did, not <laughs> The next Titanic. Gabby says cardio or weights? <laughs> <laughs> I do both. Oh. I need to do more cardio, but you know what it happens is when I used to love running, but the problem with running is it's kind of heavy on your knees. And seeing as I st stood all my life being a hairdresser, I've worn them out. But I'm going to get back into the knees. I was on the uh, rowing machine today and the hill climber, which is like death. Jesse says, Drew Colors from Florida says hi. Ah. And Fran asks, what do you do with uneven necklines? Uh, chop it off. Prince Will King, Will King William. <laughs> uneven necklines, yeah, well, you know what? That's part of the skill. Part of the skill is just trying to balance it out. Use your creative, uh, use your creative, uh, you know, license to balance them out. That's part of the magic. It's getting that, getting that, like signature, it's your signature, isn't it, on the hairline? Get your signature right. Get your signature right and you win. David Bray says good morning. Good morning, Mr. David Bray. I hear you're now doing a hair extensions. I saw online, you're actually now cutting hair off and sticking hair on, <laughs> which is awesome. So nice and clean. Just kind of polishing up a little bit here. I took a little bit more out of that side. In here, I want to take a little bit more out of the hairline. We unlock. Some doesn't go through. Use the tip of the comb to get even shorter. So we've got another trip to LA coming up. We have a trip to Arizona, Atlanta, Miami, a lot of places.
you like flying, Rebecca? Flying? Yeah. Um, not really, but I'll do it. But you'll do it. I want to go places, but I don't like the the commute. Let's run around just to have a look and see what we got. Now let's just come through the top. And we're not going to cut a clean line because the hair is already a bit chopped up. Is this my hair cut last time? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to lift it up and I'm just going to nibble away. Just to strengthen, but still keep it soft. Don't forget, if you want to get connected to a row show, get connected on a row show social. Yeah, that's a great way for you to find out exactly everything that's going on. If you're looking for hair equipment, tools, scissors, razors, clips, erosiopro.com. That's our professional store where we sell all of our uh, merch. It's that so cool. Merch. Merch. <laughs> merch. So the only part that's in here now is uh, the hydro mist, the only part that's in. Who's doing your colour today? Pushing that hair around. Got a slight wave to her hair. Cindy says watching you cut hair is like being rocked like a baby. Oh, that sounds nice. Thank you. Rose says the detail is amazing. You really know your stuff. I try. She is. What did Margarita want? She is? Yeah. From where? <clears throat> She's bringing back cleaning supplies. Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring it back to me. Let's go this way. She's going to get color, so we don't need to go cray cray. Let's lift it this way. Just check in. We'll put some products in. Where's the iron? It's somewhere. Is it plugged in? See what we got. What do you think, Laura? I love it. You like yeah, it? It's great. She moves a lot, doesn't she? She goes like that, and then she goes like that, and then she goes like that, and then she goes like that. <laughs> and I'm going to be like that. It's good. All right, let's put a little, uh, let's see if we can get this chunky iron. Not too hot. Burning. Okay, do you want to hold this section? Let's get right in there. Let's get right in. Let's just lay it on. Flatten it out. Fine section. Keep the sections nice and fine. Just lay it on. This will just help to straighten it out. through. 
So don't forget, we'll be into ROM, so I'm planning to ROM, so literally, and I uh, forgot, I just decided to do that yesterday. I have a spare Sunday in, uh, in August. So I'm gonna go up to Toronto, because I've got a new employee, a new team player starting with me, and uh, soon. And right now he's living, he's, we're, we're bringing him in from the, from, uh, he's an English hairdresser, Jim a little, and his name's Stan, and he's gonna be joining our education team. And we assisted together, we worked together when we was younger. I don't think we assisted together, because I think he's a little younger than me, thank God. His name's Stan, he's now at present, he's actually in Toronto. So he's just waiting to get his, uh, he's been approved with his paperwork, but he has to still go to the embassy. And that meeting's a little bit later than we'd hoped, unless it changes. So that's why we're going to go to Toronto, because Todd always wants us to go. That's how we're going to go. Straightening this hair out, make it just a little bit cleaner. I have to go crazy because she's going to get coloured. But I do want to polish it up a little and maybe put some products in there too. That's what I want to do. Put some products in there, make it look cool and edgy for the final shot, and then our colorist can do the magic. Right in here. So if you do want to know everywhere we're at, just download our app, erosiosocial.com. That'll tell you everything. You can also post pictures. If you want to get connected to the Erosio brand, which I think you should, yeah, because, uh, there's lots of good brands out there, products, but you know, what makes I think our product unique is what's behind the product. Yeah, not just great products, but we also have, you know, great intention with our brand partners, all the salons that carry the product. Plus, you know, it's 100% owned by me. So it means I'm in the driving seat. It means I can do the things that I love to do. Things like Expo. Wait till you see where Expo is at the TWA Center in JFK. Expo 2020 is going to be uh, off the charts. It's an amazing facility. Just a second. It's an amazing facility and an amazing space. There you go. You did it, Dana. You did it, Dana. Dana did it. Let's get right in there. We have some brand new hair dryers coming out soon. Stay tuned, you can check out my Instagram. Working on some new hair drying tools. We're gonna to work on some new iron tools too. Cosmoprof coming up. We're gonna have a look and see what magic is out there as we continue to push forward. Now think about hairdressing as a career. We got some great, we got some uh, two schools here in New York, one in Tribeca, one in Soho. So basically what can happen is, you could actually kickstart your career with a rojo and become a hairdresser. And then guess what? We'll give you a job straight after school if you do good at school. I'm always hiring my, uh, my students. And then you can start to develop. If you Sorry. are a hairdresser, thanks Rebecca, you just get so close, Sorry. you just whack me. <laughs> you and that tripod, that's it. I'm taking that tripod away. <laughs> It's the only way I can get an aerial shot. <laughs> aerial shot. Rachel and the tripod. You did it. You called me Rachel. Oh, Rachel. Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> she was waiting for that, wasn't you? No, every employer I've ever had has called me Rachel. Really? Yeah. Did you ever feel like changing your name? I let one guy call me Rachel for like three years just because I waited too long to tell him. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, really? one, and one day someone else told him. <laughs> so her name's not Rachel. You... you Ding dong. <laughs> Can you say that ding dong? You like to say ding dong. He wasn't my boss, so sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that pass for the dryer.
some dry shampoo and some healing oil. This is healing oil, it's a little oil shine. I'm gonna push it in, I'm gonna blow dry it. It's a glossing oil, it's a protector. Let's get that texture just a little bit more raggedy. Scissors, please. Donna says it looks great, messy, and straight. Thank you. Well, you know, I mean, this is the exercise. We just literally been working for an hour and ten minutes. We got two clients done. One is a little simpler with a heavier blow dry. One's a little bit more involved with a lighter blow dry. You want more detail on the shorter cuts? A little bit less detail on the longer cuts, more forgiving. Get up. Now let's have a look at the bang bangs. So you know we're going to tighten up right here. black comb you can see really cleanly. Take it in tighter. And then just get in that little ledge. This side. So now as I pull the ear back, so I can get the comb flat on the ear, so I can come in here, and just kind of rotate that comb. And this temple area is a really important part to get really nice and tight. So if you are not so busy at the summer, it's not time to go home. Yeah, when most people are not busy, they skip out of work early in the summer. My suggestion to all of you is, make sure next summer's not quiet. So stay, build your clientele. Yeah, the whole focus is, you know, when summer comes around, it's gonna be probably your quietest time, depending on where you live. Typically speaking, families go away on vacation through the three summer months, so you will be a little bit quieter. So it's important that you stick around and you build your business. You know, most people always think, oh, I'm not busy, I'll go home early. I'm not busy, I won't come in. That's, you're, gonna, you're gonna always have those non-busy days if you do that. If you make it a point of always turning up no matter what's on your book, chance of you being success, more successful greatly increase. I've been doing hair now for uh, 82 I started. So how many years is that Dana? Let's see how your math is. 82? 82. I started hairdressing uh, in 1982. How old were you? 37. So 37 years. 37 years. How old were you? When in 1982. Oh, I wasn't born yet. Uh-huh. Well, I'll leave you the clients behind when I'm gone. Never mind. Okay. 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 Just taking off a little bit of the... Give me those nice little fancy thing, thingamajigs. 
That's it. Yeah. The battery's dying. Just last leg. Last leg. I'm just gonna take off that little neck fur. But I'm not actually gonna shave it off straight away. I'm just gonna do it through the comb. It's softer to take off the neck fur with the comb. Sometimes that little, you know, fur, I like to call it, especially if your clients are olive skin, that's quite dark. And if you cut it too short, you'll actually look, you'll be able to see the demarcation. So be very careful with that. Final things, then we're done. Then we'll, we'll, have, we'll, we'll have our reveal with both of our girls. And uh, don't forget, I hope you all have a happy Thursday. I'll be working in my uh, Soho location today. A lot of meetings. We've got to get a lot of stuff prepared for our training this weekend. So we're excited for that. It's always good to have that. Uh... Again, if you're part of our uh, network, you know, maybe you want to join a creative team, you want to be part of an artistic team, you could actually join the Erosio Ambassador Art team. I do. Oh, you want to give them to me? Give them to me. Let's just give a little dust right in here. Texturizing shears are fun. New ones again. Chin down. It's going to just soften out just a little. A little bit of forgiveness right here. Forgive me. Again, just a little forgiveness. It's just a little softer. Just taking off the edges. Just lightly. Just the thumb that moves. Takes out just a drop. Oh look, these look at these animals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you show them. So you turn around, Rebecca. Show everybody. This is how you. This is how you do your kids in New York. You tie them up. <laughs> <laughs> you tie them up, and you drag them. So again, don't use the texturizing shears to take out the hair, but. Do the texturizing shears to enhance the haircut. It's just softening the line a little bit. Especially when the hair's, you know, she's got to kind of, when she's transitioning from one style to another, you got to think about, you know, uh, making sure that you've got enough softness in it. off we'll put a little refinish in there thin all the hair off first Take a little bit of our refinish. There's a lot of bit of thickness and texture to it. See? Give us a little bit more healing oil. She needs to be healed. <laughs> Heal her now. Again, the products are really important to get the texture that you want. Yeah, you want to keep some texture in your hair. The products are very important. The healing oil is more of a glossing spray. The, uh, the refinish is our dry texture spray, our dry shampoo. So it gives it a little bit of a tougher texture. They both look really good in tandem together. It's all gonna work. She's gonna get her hair colored in a few minutes. We'll post a picture of her hair. I'll post a picture of what we do now. 
and then we'll post a picture of her hair when she's changed the colour. So we'll do that on Arosio Social, Rebecca will do that and also we'll do that on, a, on a, my Instagram. So it's kind of tough and tight and bow like, flat or messy. Bring everybody over to the uh, where we go. Red wall. Red wall. <laughs> okay, come on, Caitlin. Bring over that dry shampoo too, please. All right, let's go over here. Go on. Short, short, and our tall long. Short, short, tall long. Thanks very much for tuning in. It's a lot of fun. Definitely check us out. Check out what we're doing. And uh, a big thank you to Dana. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs>